Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. I am Wishblade, and we are still in Asgard. I have a few things I actually still need to do, and I also discovered something that I kind of want to do. First off, let us go back to that way little house up here. There is something upstairs that I want to find. I want to examine. Yes, indeed, it is this weird... I don't know, gramophone, something, music thing, because it is the Wonder Chef. What shall I learn today, O oh great master? That stirs the blood of people of hunting cultures, meat stew. That sounds glorious. Mm. Meat and kelp. Hmm. Alrighty then. Bye, great master. Well, I also thought of something. Maybe I kind of should show you what these actually do, some of these. So, let's go through those. The sandwich restores a small amount of HP. The cabbage roll restores a small amount of TP. The rice ball restores a small amount of both. The omelet cures poison for the party. The meat stew restores a small amount of HP and temporarily increases attack for the next battle. The seafood stew temporarily increases defense and restores a small amount of TP. And that is all we have, so there you go. If you want to make use of these, by all means go ahead. I personally don't really care that much. So, off we go. We are done in this wee little area. And we want to go back in here, actually, because I discovered a certain something. That is actually here, even though we didn't immediately see it on this shelf. But over on this one... It's the volume two! Taking pity upon mankind and his folly, the goddess Martel sent onto the world a boy to serve as her agent. He brought the warring nations to accord, sealed away the desires, and restored peace to the world. Yet it was too late to save the great tree, whose branches had forever withered. Mana was lost to the world. So spoke the king of Tetheala, as penance for bringing raw, raw, war something upon this land, we will leave it for all time. Upon hearing those words, Mythos threw upon the divine power of Martel to erect a tower that reached the heavens. The people of Tetheala scaled it, never halting their march until they had come to live upon the moon. The king of Silveron spoke thusly, let us construct a portal to link our worlds, that we may not forever lose our bond with our brothers of Tetheala. Hearing honest, lo honest love and contrition in the king's plea, Mythos once once more, called upon the goddess of the god, the power of the goddess something, blah. Serving as her instrument, she created a great stone gate that would open only when the moon was full. Huh, okay, so apparently there were some, a country known as Tetheala here, and now they live on the moon? Are you sure, Rain? Are you sure they don't? <laughs> You haven't checked, therefore, there might be people on the moon. Man on the moon. Indeed, there could be the tiniest possibility of that utter unlikelihood. There you go. Well, that's one more book, and you can read it again if you want to, but I don't see any need to do that. Is there another one somewhere? No? Okay, that's fine. So, with that out of the way... I believe we are entirely done here in Asgard, for now, at least. So let us head outside and move on towards that Battlecraft Mausoleum place, which is somewhere. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere, I'm sure. It'll be fine. Noish, take me away! And I'll tell you right now, we will need to go to the east, right over there, where there's a wee little bridge and we need to cross it. I almost got into a battle there. Almost, but not entirely. Ew! Well, that was a wee little... Well, that was a wee little fight, and... Kratos learned Light Spear. Hmm. That's a nice enough attack, but... Not... I'm not that much of a fan of it. It... It takes you too much into the sky. I'm not really much for... The more... Aerial airborne fighters and stuff like that where you, oh, we have to do all sorts of... Holy hell! 
Someone really wanted me dead, or something. Stuff. Behold the Velocidragon and the Dragon Rider. Oh dear lord. And there's an option. How very wonderful. Yeah, these. this enemy is a little... It's kind of a rare enemy. It doesn't show up that often, I think. Slightly, whatever. But, yeah, I'm not much of a fan of... I'm gonna use all sorts of crazy combo attacks up in the up in the air and such, but nah. I like to stay on the ground, it's very wonderful. But here's another chest with a strike ring. So let's have a look at that, shall we? Let's see here. I actually think I might want to use it on Colette, or is that entirely wrong, or is that something I thought about at some point? I don't know. But anyway, a ring that makes the wearer disposed towards S-Type. So if you put that on, you'll slowly make your way towards the S-Type side of things, but I'm not entirely sure. It It's also still affected by your x gem. so if you have, like, if you have four x, x skills that all go towards technical, then the ring won't do a damn thing. And there was also a talisman we got at some point from the Windmaster, I think? A protective charm increases defense by 5%. Hmm. Well, that's nice, I guess. So, I don't know. Sure, why the hell not? Genus, have some more defense. That's a very wonderful idea. And over here is the Battlecraft Mausoleum, and monsters are apparently guarding the entrance. Ta-da! So this should be the third seal. The third, the third, third. Proper pronunciation and use of your lips and tongue and stuff. And I'm not entirely sure this... Yeah, I don't think this dog actually counts, because this one's already named, but there you go. Now we've talked to it anyway, so... Now it doesn't have to feel left out or anything like that. Hello, sir. Do you have anything to say? Oh, well that's too bad. I'm sure there's some kind of trick to it. And here, we got some gold. Delicious gold. It's pretty wonderful. This one plant looks a little... I don't know. Suspicious. Right between these two poles. It looks like it's some special rare plant that we must not harm or anything like that. But up here is your standard, we have to touch the Oracle Stone. But it's not here. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. But we can place this down. And now there is an Oracle Stone. Behold the power of magic. Hmm. So I guess we kind of had to kill that Windmaster in order to get the map, in order to get the Oracle Stone to appear, so... Hmm. Who knew? Huh. Actually, so... What about any other previous Chosens? Did they lose the map up there in the Asgard? On the Asgard ruin thing? Or did they have to go through the same thing again and the map just magically returns to that Windmaster guy? I don't know. It looks stark in here, I don't like it. Yeah, you always start out enthusiastic, and then you get bored. The sound of wind. Yeah, I hear it too, and I see it. Hm. And here I thought you couldn't see the wind. Someone's been lying to me all along in my entire life. And here's a memory circle that we can't open quite yet. And there are spiky traps and such. But we can avoid these if we walk across very slowly like that and up here I think there's an enemy hiding here and I was right oh no we have more powerful spiders known as arachnids and a skeleton warrior what is that what does that shield say emeth or something does that mean something special if anyone knows again tell me in the comments because then we can be all so much more wiser. Behold the power. Have, have some magic lens from the arachnids, and apparently they don't like ice. So there you go. Icicle would be lovely around here. That's not that's not icicle, but okay, whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. Like so. And we get an onion. Behold the most amazing of all things. And a memory gem. So that's wonderful. Now these, we can't really read that right now, but if we light up this torch, and we can read it. Let's have a look. Our people of wind. Uh-huh. Are we gonna meet some of these Battlecraft things? 
Well, that wasn't much. This block needs to go down here, and over here is some other thing we can read. So let's have a look. The world is a giant. Its ruby left hand is the throne of gods. Its emerald right hand is the power of gods. Its pearl white left leg is the calm earth. Its topaz right leg is the rich earth. And its lapis lazuli body is the blue wind princess. And right now, you're gonna look at that and be, what? You're gonna be like, what the hell is that? But what does that mean? You'll get to find out later. Right now, don't you worry about it. We'll get to that soon enough. And once this block is down here, this wind is turned off. And... Mm, I don't want to go this way. It's too bothersome. I'm gonna go up here and find an enemy. Oh dear god, more enemies! So many enemies! Gargoyle, Wind Element, and two Harpies! And that Wind Elemental... Hmm, I have a feeling this is where the Wind Elemental... Yeah, it starts being a little bit more angry. So now it's actually going to do some melee attacks and no, I'm not gonna run away from battle. That sounds like a bad idea. I don't wanna do that. Apparently it's strong towards Earth and physical attacks, so Kratos is basically completely useless against it. And me? No, I'm not really so useful either, but this guy, or well, the Harpies anyway, they don't like the Earth powers. Thank you, Kratos. Thank you for dealing super duper awesome critical damage towards the wee bastard. Up you go! It's so funny when the enemies die to by being hit by spread. And here's apparently another... Damn, ow! Okay, that was a bit too fast. Okay. Um... There we go. Yay! I am... I am safe now. And over here, you can, of course, use the memory gem, like so. And we already got this. The summon spirit and the wind that serves it are to be found beyond the carving of the holy seal. Great. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, and these just don't get hit by them. And some of them move very fast. Whoa! I thought I was gonna get crushed by that thing, but apparently not. And over here, yet again, the wind is blowing, so... Yeah, let's just show it. Voila, and poof. So, can't do anything there. Not right now. Don't get too comfortable. Oh, look! There's another enemy! And I believe we've seen some of its family before in the... In the something. The something. The tree at ruins. That is a melting pot. And there we go. And it's apparently strong against the earth. So Kratos don't come over here and attack it. That would be a very bad idea. Because you would be useless against it. Ha 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 ha. New skill, you can go the hell away. Go away, thank you very much. They all die so very fast, I feel so powerful. That's that. Indeed. Basically, that is that. Moving on. Oh, well here's another one. Let's read it. That which the blue wind princess protects heads from the throne of gods and across the rich earth stands upon the calm earth and gazes up at the power of gods. So do you remember all those colors and things that were called and what they were and stuff over there? Yeah, this is a hint to a certain order of colors that we'll be needing later on, so remember those. But if you can't remember those, then don't you worry, I I know what to do. I have my notes, and they're a bit more easy to understand compared to something like the um, the maze in the Palma Costa Ranch. The great king of Balakroft, Cleo III, died and was reborn as the king of the wind. The king travels the heavens with the summon spirit in past, present, and future. Well, that was mean of you, enemy, to just interrupt me like that. Now this block needs to go over on the bottom thing. Come, block. You must stop the wind for me, otherwise I can't read the thingies. Thank you. And what is in the chest? A blue ribbon? Awesome. And an iron guard. And that's why I said you should not make the iron guard, because here it is. Armor reinforced in places with iron. We can give that to Colette. And a blue ribbon, a beautiful blue ribbon. There you go. That's, that is it. And yeah, it's going to increase their defense, but they're going to lose a bit of intelligence. So I want 
That sounds so weird. They're gonna lose intelligence by wearing a blue ribbon. Like they are suddenly becoming... Like they are suddenly... Blah, blah. Like they are suddenly gonna become dumber because of that. But there you go, Colette, because you are the blonde after all. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just mean like that. And in this chest we get... A beast hide. Wonderful. That which is offered to the throne of gods from the power of gods makes the rich earth as the calm earth and arrives at the blue wind princess. This be as of traveling the giant spotty in the manner of a clock's hand. Interesting. Now we can move all the way back here. And yes, there's a machine down there. We, or whatever it is, some magi technology. But we're not going to use that quite yet. We're going to read this one. As well, the holy seal that extols the king flows from the throne of the gods to the rich earth, travels from the power of gods to the calm earth, and when the blue wind press is born in the center of the world, the holy seal shall also be complete. Great. Now with all those hints in place and we all know exactly what we need to do, we can move on and go down here and see what power we'll get. What is it this time? Probably wind, maybe. Oh, I can make it blow on things. Ugh, no, people, stay away from the comments on that one. No, bad people. Well, hello there. It's our wonderful favorite clumsy assassin friend, which is not our friend. Noish, are you really gonna be afraid of that little thing? Well, apparently she's inside now. What I just said back there could be interpreted really... Well, you know. And if our favorite assassin was male, then... That would have been a, that's what she said joke. But anyway, here we are at some windmills and we have the power of wind. So, there are a few patterns we can do. First off, some red. Some green, some yellow, some white, and blue. And that will break down the wall and unleash an enemy upon us. And we'll get a chest. With an X-Gem level 2. And... Yeah, we can stop them if we use the ring again. And that enemy is going to chase me and I don't want to find it quite, quite yet. Not right now. And the next pattern we have is blue, red... Yellow, white, and... Oh, I didn't hear it. White, there you go. And green. Which breaks down another wall and releases another enemy upon us. So many enemies, I don't like it very much. There we go. And finally, there is red, yellow, green, white, and blue. Which opens the door. Or unlocks the door and then we can go over and open it. And now, let's see if I can get to the chest without getting into battle. Yes, I can, with another blue ribbon that I'm likely not going to use. So, let's kill some enemies. Well, there's another ability for you. The upgraded version of Sword Rain, Sonic Sword Rain. And apparently we also got this side Tempest that we can learn, so let's try using Tempest. There you go. Instead of just going in an arc or an arch something, over the enemy, you go slightly more up in the air. I'm not really that much a fan of that one, so... I don't know. Should I show this off again? Well, let's try it. Sonic Sword Rain. Show it off. There you go. Now you got a better view of it. So there you go. And with those out of the way, I have also used this level 2 X-Gem on Rain to give her a spirit. Just because. No real reason, but it does increase max TP, so that's nice. And apparently it gives you relax with these two. Recover TP during battle if no action is taken for a while. Well, if no one needs healing for a bit, then I guess that's quite alright. And now, it is boss time, but I haven't really done much to prepare, but obviously, wind attacks are not a good thing, so those are disabled on Genus, because Kratos is not in the battle, so it's all good. And I'll tell you right now, lightning, no go either. My god, it is foggy up here. Holy hell. I can't see shit. Where's the wonderful view and such? Well, I do see that. I see green sparkles. They are so beautiful. 
but black lines going into the thing is creepy. And the small tornado thing? Whoa! Alright, let's go! And here we have the I Apex. Yapix. Something. I don't know. Let's use a magic lens on it. So yeah. No real awesomeness you can use against this, but wind and lightning is a bad idea. So, I'm gonna do something else entirely. I'm gonna do this, and this, and this, and not use lightning or lightning tiger blade. But hopefully instead... Power blade! <laughs> Where Lloyd's swords become almighty power hammers. And this guy is also another one that I really don't like. He's he can be quite annoying of a boss. And off he goes into the into the sky. Oh, I had such a nice combo. Hmm. It's actually kind of funny in a way that these two wind-related bosses I don't really like. Because wind is probably my least favorite element. Just because I... Yeah, I just have a slight fear of wind. A wind? Of wind? is what I wanted to say if I could get the word out of my mouth without being entirely terrified of myself. How far are we? We're doing quite well. But yeah, I've had a slight... Ex I've had a... Blah 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 blah, I can't even talk, I'm so terrified of this experience I had. But yeah, I've had a wee little experience regarding a hurricane and flying through the air. So there you go. That's something I've been through. I was walking along, I was... Heading back while I was on a on a trip to Iceland, and then all of a sudden, I walk around the corner and then I get grabbed by the wind and fly off. I could have died, maybe, if it went really bad, but thankfully I survived because arm strength and a light pole. So there you go, brief version of that story. Now where is Remiel? He's always so slow at showing up. Hello again. There's another silhouette. Who are those silhouettes? What? What is this? People, tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the deal, Remiel. Just get it over with. It's not fun when there's no talking. It's just me. It's so quiet. And I have to keep talking. Somehow, I'm trying to say stuff. Hmm. With all the light around, we can't quite entirely see your wings, Colette. It's a little sad. Bye, green sparkles. Bye. I'm gonna miss ya. Green is, an, is a wonderful color. Hmm. I don't know. What, what would be my ranking on colors? Like, obviously, and then I don't care if it's not a color, but black would be the would be the winner. Then it's probably red, because that's my other favorite color if black is not accepted. Then I don't know. Either purple or green, I think. Something like that. Green, purple or green. The third seal indeed. We're getting quite a ways on with this wonderful journey of ours. Ooh, is she gonna get the halo now? And... Nice. Halo? Nope, not yet. Hm. Apparently not. To the northwest, in a place that gazes upon the center of the world. That sounds like that Tower of Mana place. In that distant land. Okay. Well... Personally, I can't say it's that distant. We've... I don't know. That guidepost we went to earlier? It's almost at the top of the world, that, that tiny bit of area over there, so I can't really see how much further north we can get. Oh, is it now? Huh. Well, damn. Maybe this is gonna be all over real soon. <laughs> and then we've saved the world and we'll be done with this Let's Play. Something the matter? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be wonderful. True that.
da 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 and Colette learned Holy Song. So that's wonderful, but I don't know. Yeah, I suppose it's a nice enough ability to have, but yeah, whatever. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Go away, enemies. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Oh, there we go. Awesome dodging skills. Now let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. You're in here as well. Yeah, and that name in the text box, because we can see those things. Hello, Sheena. God damn it, Colette. Okay, let's try and befriend her. That sounds wonderful. I'm not touching anything. Technically, we can't because Adams and stuff like that, but I won't be able to explain something like that. All right, I'm ready. Another boss battle! Against our always ever so wonderful assassin Sheena, which which is now a resolute assassin and not a clumsy one. Go away, people, and give me the power to use another magic lens in this guardian, which is Guardian of Lightning, apparently. And neither of these are resistant or weak to anything, so don't you worry about nothing. You can just keep on out keep on hammering on these bastards if I could actually hit them. Also, Sheena, do not attack my healer. That's very mean of you. Have this. Um, that's the problem. Direction and button. There we go. Aha! And the power hammers, this sounds so silly. Whenever they hit someone and there she goes. <laughs> that was easy. Off you go. Ow. Get over here! I'm a punisher for hitting me in the face. How much health? Oh, you're almost done. One out! God damn it! Yeah, evil bastard. Hmm. Well, what is done is done. We still win because we're too awesome and that, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Fine, genius. It's fine, Lloyd. Don't you worry. Okay, I'm sure. Good is subjective, so I guess so. We can all be good in our own kind of way. A what now? Your country? Well, we've just recently discovered that now Silverant is the entirety, and Tethayala is... They moved to the moon or something like that, so... What, what country wouldn't be regenerated or saved or whatever? What the hell are you talking about, girl? This world? What? What are you talking about? What? What the hell is going on? What? You you know something, Kratos? What? Kratos, don't leave us hanging, you bastard! Also, Lloyd, come up where I can see ya. There we go. Well, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go somewhere else and ponder what the hell just happened for a bit and end the episode right here. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.